Here we have to do this. A bit of a hill. <laughs> His mother said, if you're coming to school, you got to bring your sister because they have to go and work in the fields. So this kid carries his one-year-old sister everywhere. A lot of those kids don't eat in the morning. A lot of those kids, the only place they do eat is at that school. I thought going up that mountain, Mary's meals can reach everywhere that there's a hungry child. Do you see what happens after a simple meal? It just came to life. Love reaches everywhere. Parkview Sports Medicine's integrated sports medicine team is built to serve the needs of all athletes in all sports. Our team's only goal is to improve athletes in every facet. PSM offers performance training to help athletes get better on the field, dedicated athletic rehabilitation and physical therapy to help them get better off of it, certified athletic trainers in our PSM schools providing daily support to our athletes, and a specialized orthopedic walking clinic when injury strikes. Call 260-266-4007 to speak to our care navigators or visit parkviewsportsmedicine.com to learn more about what we can do to improve athletes at all levels. Parkview Sports Medicine. Become more. Welcome to the Summit City, home to the 260s dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. Joint pain, sprains, strains, or a possible broken bone? Make the Parkview Ortho Express Walking Clinic your first stop when you have an orthopedic or sports injury. Parkview Ortho Express, located at the Sport One Parkview Fieldhouse, gives you access to quick care and orthopedic physicians when you need it most. Get x-rays, treatment, and referrals to Parkview Care, all in the convenience of a walk-in clinic. Call 260-266-4007 for more information. I was once a Southside kid who was led on a journey by high school football. A journey that taught me discipline, toughness, and the skills that made me a success. As a businessman with a CPA license who owns his own firm, I still use the building blocks of high school sports in my everyday life. Someday sports will end no matter what level you reach, but you will be left with the skills to compete in the next game, the game of life. Someday, you'll get your knee replaced. Someday, a new hip. Someday can be sooner than you think. At Parkview Ortho Hospital, we want to help you get moving again. So we offer a full range of options for joint pain, including outpatient joint replacements and personalized solutions. It's time to reclaim your life at Parkview Ortho Hospital. Because someday is today. Learn more at parkview.com ortho. Parkview, we believe in better. Thank you for watching Summit City Sports. To help broaden our coverage, we're asking you to become a monthly sponsor to our Patreon account. We produce weekly highlights and live video broadcast. When the Homestead Girls Golf Team won its first state title in program history, we were there. When Fort Wayne brought back three state titles in cross country, we were there. We believe in sharing positive stories and setting the standard for how high school sports should be covered. Join us and donate today.
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome in Indiana High School basketball fans. SummitCitySports.com coming to you live. We have a top 10 matchup right here at the Fieldhouse Carroll High School. We are excited to be here. Joe Hacker on the camera. This is Tim Atkinson calling your play-by-play. -play. The 3 and one ranked number 10 in Class 4A Carroll Lady Chargers. They are playing host to the 5-0, number one ranked 4A club, the Penn Lady Kingsmen. It's going to be an outstanding matchup. It's going to go up and down the court. It is going to be fun, fun to watch here. Don't go anywhere as we have two games. I say it back-to-back -back games, doubleheader with the girls first and then the boys second. Let's go now for our starter lineups. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, starting lineups in the books. We are set, SummitCitySports.com. Outstanding head coach Mark Redding for the Carroll Lady Chargers and Christy Ulrich for the Penn Lady Kingsmen. It is game time here at the Fieldhouse, game number one of two. You're going to see some outstanding players, of course. We'll talk about our Fort Wayne's own Carroll Lady Chargers. Outstanding club and an outstanding start to the season. Watch the length and the pressing ability, uh, just the all-around outstanding play defense into offense that Carroll loves to do. Watch for their senior, Emily Parrott. She is a St. Francis commit. She'll stay in town here to play her college basketball, but she's mixed with another senior in Delane Sheets, who's kind of a bulldog X factor on this Carroll team. And then the youngsters, the sophomores that are outstanding, the Jackson sisters, Taylor Fordyce, and of course the freshman Lexi Castator as we are set and on. This is Indian High School basketball. We do play four eight-minute quarters. No shot clock in the state of Indiana, and that's a quick five-second call. Closely guarded on Fordyce to start it. And Coach Mark Redding's not going to be pleased with that opening at all. So an outstanding Saturday, beautiful Saturday here in the Summit City, home of SummitCitySports.com. Right here in Fort Wayne, Indiana, on the north side of town at the Carroll Field House. As they're under construction outside, this place has been uh, built for several years now. Now the football stadium is getting a, not an overhaul, a complete redo. They moved it, and it's going to be an outstanding football atmosphere. But a beautiful first look by number 34, Jada Patton. She's just a junior. Watch for the skills from Patton Jackson, and this is where Carroll so good. Parrott missed the easy one, but out of bounds was number 10, Jordan Smith. So the starters for Penn is number 10, Jordan Smith. Number 12, Grace Shutt. Number 20, Caitlin Costner. 34, Jada Patton. And number 40 is Grace Adams. They list Patton and Adams both at 5'11". Uh, look, all of that to me here on the first look of this very, very back front court. Here's Sheets down low, the kick out, a little inside out, and Castator, don't let the size fool you. She can absolutely knock down the triple. She's an outstanding player and a, one of the top freshmen here in the city of Fort Wayne. Watch for her, number 23. Here's Parrott out to Fordyce. Fordyce, outstanding start to her season, averaging nearly 12 a game. Here's Fordyce, now in the corner to Castator, down low to Sheets. Sheets wants to turn, does, flips it up, no good. It stepped out of bounds. We'll go back to Penn, but that'll set up a press. Starters for Carroll. Number three, Emily Parrott. Number 12, Sonia Jackson. 14, Taylor Fordyce. 23, Lexi Castator. And number 32 is Delane Sheets. And that's what Carroll does. They jump in passing lanes with their length and their athleticism. And six and a half left in this first quarter. SummitCitySports.com. Follow us on Twitter at 260 Sports. 
Big shout out, athletic director Dan Ginder uh, is an outstanding host here at Carroll High School. Wait till you see that football stadium out there, boy. Whew. Oh, what a take. Come on. Off glass. Laid it up and in easily. Then number 20, Caitlin Costner, the senior. And an and one for Carroll and Delane Sheets with the bucket and the foul. Nicely done by Sheets and Carroll to get out and move. Foul on Patton, her first, team's first. And as Sheets looking for that three-point opportunity. And does convert on the first free throw. Carroll pulls within one, most importantly sets up the press. In the corner, you got to get it out of there. Waiting to trap. Oh, great press break, but the length of Castator deflected it. Picked it up and put it right in to number 40, Grace Adams. Great press break that time by Penn. And that one deflected, and that's going to be a steal. They are number one in the state for a reason. Left-handed layup up and good. Defense to offense for Penn. And they set up their press. A little 1-2-2 trap. Just under six minutes. Here's Parrott. Ran into traffic. Needs help. Finds it in the freshman. Castator splits the defense, stops at that 15-foot jumper, no good. Rebound, comes down to Clinton, excuse me, to Adams. And too big. Last touch, though, that will go to Carroll. Good recovery from Fordyce. It was late, but it was early enough to deflect it out. Off of Penn, and it will go back to Carroll, down 8-3. There it is right there, Fordyce now. And that's going to be a foul on number 20, Caitlin Costner. Well, that will be her first. And the teams check it. That's on number 10, Jordan Smith. Her first team second. Sonia Jackson, the sophomore, will look the inbound baseline. And that, it's going to be another foul, another little cheapy against Penn. That's going to go on number 20, Caitlin Costner. That's her first. In the corner to Parrott. There's a handoff to Jackson. Saw the space. Up. Oh, that one was blocked. A lot of contact. But they will press even on misses, as you see right here. It's Jackson and Parrott hounding the ball dribbler. Good look. And Patton finds their point guard. And Smith. Smith swatted by Sanaya. Jackson says, no, thank you. Rejects it out over the baseline. It will stay at this end with Penn. And a pair of substitutions. It'll be number 20, Kayla Gibbs. And number 22, Nevaeh Jackson. Fordyce, that was a heads-up play defensively in that zone setup on the inbound. Just slid back enough to break that open look up for Penn down low. There's a little dribble handoff. Good skip pass. Three ball. Uh-oh. Bucket for Grace Shutt. Her first look at three, and she drains it. Penn, absolutely great start here. Against Carroll. Here's Jackson. And knocked out of bounds. It'll stay at that end. 427 left in this first quarter. SummitCitySports.com. Tim Atkinson here calling your play-by-play. We will have the boys up after the conclusion of this game. It'll be about a 25-minute gap. You'll have to hit our other event on YouTube, Periscope, our website, summitcitysports.com. You can always go to the top of that page, then the live tab. And it will take you to all of our games of that day, as you'll see oh, about four or five of them. And this is where Penn, about the only weakness right now early is the fouls. That's the second on Costner now. And the fourth team foul with 4.17 left. Go back to it. Here's Gibbs. There's a little snafu with the cordage. We got her back for you. That's what we do, fix things on the fly. Here's four dice, just under four minutes left. 
pressure defense has been tremendous for Penn, but that's what Carroll needed was an Emily Parrott senior triple. Cuts it to five. And, ooh, they're going to get a foul. No, on the line. Out of bounds, so good pressure that time. Led to a turnover, and it will go back to Carroll. Parrott's going to come down here to inbound. 3.39 left in this first quarter. Carroll cuts it to a five-point deficit. Pass in the corner to Vea Jackson. That one was thrown right into the hands of Grace Adams. I'm going to take it right back. Gibbs to Fordyce. Kayla Gibbs, another one's outstanding sophomores. There she is down low. A little left-handed scoop. Can't get it. Parrott, outstanding offensive rebound, then finds Jackson just short on the putback and rebounded by Adams. Here comes Smith. Shut. Kicks it far side. That's number 44. Gabrielle Hoover is checked in. Brings another six-foot frame. Uh-oh. Good bucket. A little rise up just inside the three-point arc. Nothing but the bottom, just under three minutes left. That's a two for Fordyce, short, no good. Rebound by Smith. Down on the ground, another turnover. Carroll starting to force it a little bit. Jackson, wide open three, need one. That one, no good, a little long. Shot comes down with the board. She'll pull it back. Ooh, that's a tough one there on Parrott. does not get tired. She's been going at it. Her and Sonia Jackson, the front of that press. Well, that will be her first foul and Carroll's first on the squad. They'll inbound in the backcourt to Smith. Picked up by number 10, Brooke Pocock. The junior is checked in for head coach Mark Redding. Shut. Goes to Adams. Back to shut. You can't leave her open. Three ball. No good. Battle for the rebound. Ooh, nice. That's number 30 who's just checked in. Sydney Little, what hustle. That was straight determination from the junior, number 30 in black. Kept it alive, and it'll get her squad another opportunity in possession here. They can go up by 10 on a triple. Adam pops out. Now Smith. Patton, I like that little curl. Shut on the dribble handoff. They switch it. Yep, switching everything out front right now. Little. Can't get it. Patton. Offensive rebound put back. No good. Still battling. Comes down to Sanaya Jackson. Double team. She comes out with it. The sophomore finds Gibbs in the corner. Jackson. Set triple. Bucket. Woo. No movement at all. Just rose up and drains the triple. Does Nevaeh Jackson. Thirteen nine, minute and a half. Down low, good flash. Good post move. Outstanding left handed finish off the post move from Adams. Here's Jackson. Out of her sister. Sonia Jackson with the take and forces the action. That'll be the fifth team foul on Penn. And shooting two will be number 12, Sonia Jackson, the sophomore. Made outside the huddle's top 50 players of the year. It's an outstanding thing for a sophomore here in the city of Fort Wayne. 59.5 left, two shots. First one up and good for Sonia Jackson. That's her first points of the contest. Delane Sheets back on the floor. Jackson drills them both. Solid free throws as Castator checks in and will give Sonia Jackson her first break. She'll check out with those two points. 59 and a half left. Now Nevaeh Jackson will lead that press. Look how active. Very active. 52 seconds. Oh, great look. Patton. And a travel. That was called by the Carroll sideline. <laughs> and Coach Mark Redding, <laughs> he apologized for the force. 
of the travel call. Uh, <laughs> fortunately, or fortunately, however you look at it, with the lack of fans in the stands right now going on in Fort Wayne due to the COVID. As you can hear, the interactions by players and coaches and referees, for that matter, on the floor is sometimes a good thing, sometimes a bad thing. Sheets could kick out. Pocock tried for that step back three, 30 seconds. Oh, great look. Oh, nice. Delane Sheets just missed it. Outstanding move, though. Pulled a little MJ on that baseline, faked it to come back to center of the court, and then went back baseline. Here's Adams. And that's going to be a foul. Reached with the wrong arm there, did Jackson. Reached with the inside arm, and that's going to be a called a foul nearly every time. 16 seconds left. An important possession for Carroll, though, as number 20, Caitlin Costner, is going to check back in with her for four points. I believe she checked out with two fouls. She did. So two fouls, and head coach Ulrich for Penn trying to get her in on this last offensive possession. 13 seconds left in this quarter. There she is. That's why they want her on the floor. My goodness gracious. Caitlin Costner checks right back in and goes to the hole. <laughs> Got to shoot it. That one's no good. Doesn't matter. That one's after the buzzer, but an outstanding push there for Smith to push it to a six-point lead. We'll take a break as we step away for the end of our quarter. You're watching Indiana High School Basketball from SummitCitySports.com. This is an invitation to join a movement <laughs> propelled by people who care and members who have a share in the place they bank. Good morning, Sam. So when you have the chance to get your first home loan, you know an expert will guide you every step of the way. Or when it's time to buy your new car, you'll be treated like more than just a credit score. Good news, ProFed can get you that payment. This is an invitation to a place where simply belonging can help enrich your whole community. ProFed Credit Union, you're invited. I was once a Southside kid who was led on a journey by high school football. A journey that taught me discipline, toughness, and the skills that made me a success. As a businessman with a CPA license who owns his own firm, I still use the building blocks of high school sports in my everyday life. Someday sports will end no matter what level you reach, but you will be left with the skills to compete in the next game, the game of life. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, SummitCitySports.com as we flip on into the second quarter of game action of the first game of our doubleheader right here from the field house with the girls varsity, the Penn Lady Kingsmen traveling down here of Fort Wayne, Indiana to take on these Carroll Lady Chargers. Penn enjoying a 17-11 lead right now. Caitlin Costner, she's an outstanding player, so hard to, to stop with the dribble drive as Patton shows you a little bit right there. Showed you the jumper earlier in the game. And now a little pull up closer to rim. 19-11, kick to Jackson. Three ball, Castator, back rim, can't get it. Four dice with the offensive board. Sheets, quick trigger, wide left, comes all the way out to Parrott. Here's Parrott, skip pass, Castator. Guarded by Patton, good look to Sheets. Sheets, flicks it, Jackson, baby jumper, baseline. Beautifully done by Carroll, did not settle. And a couple offensive boards led to that bucket. Minute into the quarter. Sets up the one, two, two trap. Fordyce got the steal. Fordyce, left elbow jumper, bucket. Fordyce with the steal and then pulls up from the left elbow for the bucket. How about that sophomore play for Carroll? And a 30 second timeout called by Penn and head coach Christy Ulrich. As this is SummitCitySports.com. Thanks for joining us. Follow us on Twitter at 260 Sports. Like and follow our Facebook page, Summit City Sports, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out Holiday Hoops Development, Basketball Development Camp from Always 100. And Bernard Hollins, check it out right there. You can go online at always100basketball.com. You can register online for the Holiday Hoop Camp that he does each and every year as Always 100. Continues to produce scholarships for their athletes, as do so many of our outstanding AAU programs here in the city of Fort Wayne. 
Just under seven minutes, four-point ball game. Shut up to Patton. Patton, good cross-court look. Fordyce cut the dribbler off. That was Adkins. Now with the ball on the wing. Goes back up top to Smith. You see Costner not back in. They just put her in for that last 16 seconds. She got a bucket. Now she'll probably sit the rest of the half with those two personal fouls. Three ball off the screen. No. Another offensive board. Good hands from Fordyce. Knocked it away, but right. And a foul on Jackson, I think. Fordyce had it momentarily. Couldn't corral it. And that's going to lead to a foul, and I believe it's going to be on Saniah Jackson. It is her first. Team's third. 6.25 left in this second quarter. Summit City Sports. And back rim. No good from Julia Economo. Hopefully I'm saying that one right. The sophomore. Missed them both. Carroll. Here's Fordyce. Can cut into this four-point deficit. We're down as many as eight. Might have been nine. Here's Castator in the corner, comes back out to the wing to Sheets. Coach Redding yelling out instructions. Now Fordyce, and they want to reset. Oh, and said, saw Castator wide open. That one long. Just been cold, has the freshman Castator. As I think Jackson's going to probably come in for her. Yeah, she knew it right away. She's upset with herself. She's an outstanding shooter. Uh, just missing him right now. He's going to get some words from her head coach at the bottom left of your screen. Jackson inbounds here to Parrott. Oh, ooh, three. Halfway down, pop back out. Rebound by Penn, now shut. Goes to Smith. Smith picked up by Parrott. Carroll stays in the man-to-man -man defense. That time they got a little confused on the switch. The sophomore kind of again to the line. Let's see if she convert. Missed her first two opportunities, but the sophomore will head back to the charity stripe. That foul on Sheets, her first team's fourth. First one up and good. Second attempt, no good. Rebound by Nevaeh Jackson. Five point game. Good look to Sheets. Couldn't pull the trigger, but a foul. I'd like to see Sheets just put that up off glass, but <laughs> she got a little laugh there. As Coach Redding said something to her. But Emily Parrott to the line. The future Lady Cougar here at the University of St. Francis. Converts and an always 100 product as well. Cuts it back to four. Can they get it to three? That's where they haven't been able to push through yet. As broadcaster Jinx back rim. And a rebound from Penn. Comes to Smith now. I'm going to try to sm trap Smith right there. Beautiful D. Good cut. Good find to Adams. That one no good. Still loose. Oh, great block by Jackson. And then knocks it off a of pen. What an outstanding individual play from Nevaeh Jackson. Tremendous effort with the rejection. And then knocked it off the pen player. Ball goes back to Carroll. Let's see if they can push through this four point deficit. 5.15 left. Here's Fordyce. Jackson. Here's Parrott. Parrott went with the great block. Adams with the left-handed shot block. And then the run from Patton off glass. Good. Back to a six-point edge. So just like that, a little four-point swing. 445 remaining in the quarter. Goes to Jackson. Sheets on the post. Pushed out a little bit by Shut, but she has the size advantage. Ooh, nicely done to Lane Sheets. A little scoop lay-in. And what we got? There's a whistle. They're talking to. They're switching the ball. So I think that's all what the stoppage was for. I hadn't seen that yet this year, but 
since 2020. Go back to the action, 435 remaining. And another whistle. He just stopped the action down baseline. And I think he's confused, uh, the official's confused on whose ball it is. Second guessed himself when he inbounded it. So it is Penn ball, which all the viewers are aware of. <laughs> so we'll go to it. Four point edge for Penn. Patton needs a guard. Maybe not. Bullet Pat, what a catch. Adams, oh man. Snagged that out of the air. Little Tatis Jr. Back up top, now Patton. Drop step. Come on. Jada Patton, how do you stop that? Little drop step off glass, the hoop and the harm. Nevaeh Jackson. Jackson with the foul, that's her second, team's fifth. First one here from Patton. Number one team in class 4A. Missed on the in one opportunity, here's Parrott. Parrott has four points out of four dice. And out of bounds. Right back to Penn. As Jackson checks out. And a timeout. Full timeout called by head coach Ulrich. 353 left here in the second quarter. We'll stay right here. SummitCitySports.com. Thanks for joining us again. Game one of our doubleheader. I cryo specialize in whole body cryotherapy, body sculpting, cryo facials, infrared sauna, and compression therapy services. Check out Jalen Smith's signature location on Coliseum Boulevard by Blaze Pizza. El Azteca Mexican Restaurant has been a Fort Wayne favorite since 1973. El Azteca Mexican recipes are sure to tantalize your taste buds. Visit lstecarestaurant.com. Anderson Heating and Air Conditioning is dedicated to providing the best possible solution for your home or business, a system and solution that fits your unique needs. Visit AndersonCoolHeat.com. Summit Volleyball trains and builds the highest quality volleyball players in the area. From ages 5 to 18, our players are equipped with elite level skills and a foundation of life skills. Jump on board. Together we can reach the summit. At Otten Willard Contracting, we invest in our customers by providing peace of mind during the entire process from bid to build. Visit OttenWillardContracting.com. You're invited to join ProFed Credit Union when we get to know you to better serve you. Sign up online in five minutes or stop by a branch. Join ProFed today and start owning your financial future at ProFedCU.org. 353 on the clock. Six-point game for Penn and the inbound. Here's Patton. I was looking for Smith so she could set up. And Sheets uh, just ripped away, but they're going to get a jump ball. And alternating possession, it will go to Carroll. With 343 remaining. It will be Sheets to inbound to Fordyce. Down low to Parrott. Does have a height advantage there. Jackson, they got a quick trigger out there at the top of the key. Seen it twice from Jackson and then once from Parrott. Also from Sheets saw one too. They are ready to shoot the ball. Three and a half left. Here's Smith. Two shot foul coming. And Smith will head to the line. To shoot two. First one up and good for Smith. 
No good on the second. And a timeout called by head coach Mark Redding. 30-second timeout, so we'll stay right here with them. This is SummitCitySports.com. Thanks for joining us. Follow us on Twitter at 260Sports. Like and follow our Facebook page as well, Summit City Sports. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Big Eye Fish has been around the Northeast Indiana area for generations. Like their Facebook pages for updated promotions. Enjoy the best fish in Fort Wayne in a family-friendly environment at the Big Eyed Fish. Tom Seal Tire has been servicing the Fort Wayne area for over 40 years. They'll help you find the perfect tire for your vehicle and other auto repair services like brakes, wheel alignments, engine diagnostics, and more. Kelly Automotive Group is Indiana's number one automotive group with over 1,000 new vehicles and 500 pre-owned vehicles to choose from. Please visit drivekelly.com. Simple, transparent, reliable. Go back to it on the timeout. Carroll down by seven. 319 left in this second quarter. Got to keep this within reach here going into the break. If you're Carroll, as it will be Cass Stater back into the game, their pen will come out in a 2-3 zone defensively. Cass Stater. And threw it away, right away, threw it into the hands of Smith. And Penn's doing all of this without Costner, Caitlin Costner on the bench this whole second quarter with the two fouls. Still up by seven. Smith, good pocket pass to Patton. Can't get it to go. Rebound by Jackson, knocked away, but it will go to Carroll. 2.52 remaining. Will be sheets to inbound here to Castator. Running the point here with this group out on the floor. Up to Jackson. Skip pass, Gibbs. Sheets wants it on the post. Jackson, a little wild shot off the glass. Couldn't get it to go. Rebound, Smith. And a little hard foul f fall from a pen player. I think legs got caught up. Here's Sheets. Sheets looking for space. And they're going to get a foul. Well, nickel dimer, as Bill Raftery would say. That's the seventh team foul, so it should be one and one. Yep, one and one we go. So it will be Sheets from the front end. Sheets with five points, leading her squad. Back rim, can't get the first. Rebound Patton. Patton in traffic. Finds the front, the sophomore. Cunamo. Patton had it knocked away. Here's Jackson. Has Gibbs with her. Good look to Gibbs. Off glass. Beautiful fast break off the steal. As Jackson drops the dime to Gibbs. Gibbs goes glass. Five point game. Two minutes left. Uh oh. Here's trouble. That's a bucket. Great pass break. Or press break, I should say. Castator finds Pocock. Gibb, excuse me, Jackson. That one front rimmed off glass, no good. 145 left. Smith with the board, and Sheets going to get caught with the foul. That will be the seventh team foul on Carroll. We're going to the one and one. Four pen. 27 20, 144 remaining. There's Smith to the line. She has three points. Excuse me, one and one coming here. Smith. Back rim, no good. Offensive rebound. That's several. She's had, what, three or four maybe. Sydney Little and her little bit of game experience tonight, but showing you a little bit of a prowess on the glass. Here's Castator. Can't spin that one home. Jackson with the offensive rebound, put back in a foul. Zaniah so Jackson going to work on the glass, but that was a good take by Lexi Castator. She can't get frustrated with herself. She's got the game to play here at the varsity level as a freshman, no doubt about it. But things just not going her way right now, but it will be Jackson. 4-2. Converts. Jackson now with five points. Second attempt. Front rim no good. Nearly got her on board, but of course, who came up with the rebound? <laughs> Number 30, Sydney Little. <laughs> Patton. Man, can she rim run. Oh, man, can she rim run. Outstanding. Jada Patton now with 10, leading all scorers. 
Pocock pulls it back out. Now Castader in the corner. Pocock, Gibbs on the screen or on the uh, on the cut. Now Jackson. The drive, the dish to Pocock for three, short. Rebounded by Hoover. And Smith, Smith, crafty little crossover. Finds Hoover and the left-handed lay-in. And just like that, 10-point game for Penn. 40 seconds left. 31-21. Jackson, and we got an offensive foul. I'm telling you what, the junior, number 30, Sidney Little, Coming off the bench has had high, high level moments for head coach Ulrich. So Penn will inbound, and Costner is going to come in for the last offensive possession. And we'll check in for Patton. Outstanding first half for Patton. Jada Patton, 10 points. Smith and a little. Little. A little heavy for Shut. Shut tracked it down. Guarded by Pocock. 26 seconds. Oh, that was off the foot of Penn. Oh. Well, triple team nearly led to a turnover. Instead, it'll stay right there in front of the press table. 21.8 seconds left in this second quarter. This is the biggest lead for Penn. 20 seconds. Smith. And that's another foul. On Jackson, that'll be her third with 15 and a half left. That's a tough foul. And she'll check out. Sheets will check in. And now Costner's going to check out. I don't want her to get that third. Patton back in. Smith hits the front end of the one and one. Now has four points. And missed on that one. Rebounded by the Castator. Castator. Sheets. Seven seconds left. Five. Three. Sheets. And nearly banked it on that one. I don't know. I think that was after. It doesn't matter because it is no good so at the end of one 32 21 is our score and we'll step away for a little bit of a halftime break get some highlights out for you and step away but you're watching indiana high school basketball right here from summit city sports dot com where we have to do this a bit of a hill <laughs> His mother said, if you're coming to school, you got to bring your sister because they have to go and work in the fields. So this kid carries his one-year-old sister everywhere. A lot of those kids don't eat in the morning. A lot of those kids, the only place they do eat is at that school. I thought going up that mountain, Mary's meals can reach everywhere that there's a hungry child. Do you see what happens after a simple meal? It just came to life. Love reaches everywhere. Parkview Sports Medicine's integrated sports medicine team is built to serve the needs of all athletes in all sports. Our team's only goal is to improve athletes in every facet. PSM offers performance training to help athletes get better on the field, dedicated athletic rehabilitation and physical therapy to help them get better off of it, certified athletic trainers in our PSM schools providing daily support to our athletes, and a specialized orthopedic walking clinic when injury strikes. Call 260-266-4007 to speak to our care navigators or visit parkviewsportsmedicine.com to learn more about what we can do to improve athletes at all levels. Parkview Sports Medicine. Become more. Welcome to the Summit City, home to the 260s dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. 
joint pain, sprains, strains, or a possible broken bone? Make the Parkview Ortho Express Walk-In Clinic your first stop when you have an orthopedic or sports injury. Parkview Ortho Express, located at the Sport One Parkview Fieldhouse, gives you access to quick care and orthopedic physicians when you need it most. Get x-rays, treatment, and referrals to Parkview Care, all in the convenience of a walk-in clinic. Call 260-266-4007 for more information. I was once a Southside kid who was led on a journey by high school football. A journey that taught me discipline, toughness, and the skills that made me a success. As a businessman with a CPA license who owns his own firm, I still use the building blocks of high school sports in my everyday life. Someday sports will end no matter what level you reach, but you will be left with the skills to compete in the next game, the game of life. Someday, you'll get your knee replaced. Someday, a new hip. Someday can be sooner than you think. At Parkview Ortho Hospital, we want to help you get moving again. So we offer a full range of options for joint pain, including outpatient joint replacements and personalized solutions. It's time to reclaim your life at Parkview Ortho Hospital, because someday is today. Learn more at parkview.com slash ortho. Parkview, we believe in better. Thank you for watching Summit City Sports. To help broaden our coverage, we're asking you to become a monthly sponsor to our Patreon account. We produce weekly highlights and live video broadcast. When the Homestead Girls Golf Team won its first state title in program history, we were there. When Fort Wayne brought back three state titles in cross country, we were there. We believe in sharing positive stories and setting the standard for how high school sports should be covered. Join us and donate today. This is an invitation to join a movement propelled by people who care and members who have a share in the place they bank. Good morning, Sam. So when you have the chance to get your first home loan, you know an expert will guide you every step of the way. Or when it's time to buy your new car, you'll be treated like more than just a credit score. Good news, Profed can get you that payment. This is an invitation to a place where simply belonging can help enrich your whole community. Profed Credit Union, you're invited. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, SummitCitySports.com. Still about three and a half minutes left in this halftime break. Heck of a showing early there for Penn, 32-21 at the end of the first half. This is game number one of our doubleheader. Uh, so I'm going to step away here, get some totals of scores, and be right back to you. You're watching Indiana High School basketball right here from SummitCitySports.com. 
Automotive Group is simple, transparent, reliable, simple. Our customer specialists make buying a car easy and fun. Transparent. Our price listed is the best price. No hassle, no gimmicks. Reliable. Buy with confidence and peace of mind. We work hard to ensure the best value however you shop. Come see us in Decatur at the 2733 Auto Mall and shop seven brands in one location. The Kelly Automotive Group. Simple, transparent, reliable. I was once a Southside kid who was led in a journey by high school football. A journey that taught me discipline, toughness, and the skills that made me a success. As a businessman with a CPA license who owns his own firm, I still use the building blocks of high school sports in my everyday life. Someday sports will end no matter what level you reach, but you will be left with the skills to compete in the next game, the game of life. This is an invitation to join a movement propelled by people who care and members who have a share in the place they bank. Good morning, Sam. So when you have the chance to get your first home loan, you know an expert will guide you every step of the way. Or when it's time to buy your new car, you'll be treated like more than just a credit score. Good news, Profed can get you that payment. This is an invitation to a place where simply belonging can help enrich your whole community. Profed Credit Union, you're invited. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. SummitCitySports.com coming to you live right here from the Fieldhouse. Carroll High School. Follow us on Twitter at 260 Sports. Parkview Sports Medicine continues to lead the way in Northeast Indiana. Our specialized sports medicine team offers direct access to physical therapy and sports physicians in our new Parkview Ortho Express Clinic located at the Sport One Parkview Fieldhouse. No referral needed, saving you time and money. Visit ParkviewSportsMedicine.com to learn more. So we're back to you here as the second half is upon us. Let's go ahead and flip on in to the third quarter. Joe Hacker on the camera. This is Tim Atkinson calling your play-by-play. -play. The rim running ability of the 5'11 junior forward Jada Patton has led the way. She has 10 points, leading all scorers. And Penn with the 10. Then you have Caitlin Costner, who played about, I'd say, about four total game time minutes she has six number 40 grace adams she has six grace shut has that lone triple and then the point guard jordan smith has four for carroll delayed sheets has five also with five is sanaya jackson she has three fouls so does her sister and nevaeh jackson also has three fouls she has three points Emily Parrott with four points. She also has two fouls, so lots of foul troubles here for Carroll and just the one with two fouls for Penn. That's Costner. So let's see how this filters out as the third quarter is on. Here's Smith, and there's just been so much space down low. And an and one to start the second half. That one's Patton, of course, on the little interior pass from Adams. We'll go to the line now for a chance at the three-point opportunity. That foul on Nevaeh Jackson. That's her third. Nothing but net. 13 points now for Patton. Seven minutes left to go in this third quarter. Here's Parrott. That's the number one ranked team in 4A. The Penn Lady Kingsmen. Turnaround jumper, that's pretty. Nevea Jackson. Turned a little jump around. Now Smith, check it, Costner. Find shut. And has that knocked away by Jackson. We'll stay at that end with Penn. Smith. 
some at the inbound baseline. Adams will pop out. And another whistle. Foul is on Patton. That's her second. Now Costner and Patton both with two. Three ball. That one could not go. Rebound Smith. Their whole squad just rebounds at a high level. Here's Adams. Too much space around the blocks if you're head coach Mark Redding. As another rim run. That one's going to come down for Adams. And she now has eight. Extra pass, Fordyce. Wing triple. Bucket. Needed that one big time. Taylor Fordyce produced it. Sets up the press. Let me get a couple stops in a row here. 640. Here's Patton. Oh, that's a travel. And yeah, switch pivot feet. So a chance here for Carroll to cut into this 11-point deficit. So I did not get that last one. There it is. Here's Parrott. Has four points. Oh, and a little zig instead of zag. And it will be a turnover. Smith will take the inbound. 6.20 left in this third quarter. That one, no good. Put back, and the foul. And if that's on Nevaeh Jackson, it is. That's going to be her fourth foul. So she's going to have to check out. Adams will go to the line to shoot two. Second team foul. First one does convert, second attempt coming as Castator will check in. So 13 point lead, that's the largest, and then a turnover. And a full timeout call by head coach Mark Redding. Slowly slipping away here from the Lady Chargers as we'll take a short break. Summit City Sports dot com coming live from the field house. I choose to do whole body cryotherapy after practices, games, and training. It reduces inflammation in my muscles and allows me to move more agile throughout my profession. I became a believer in iCryo after my severe injury in college at Notre Dame, tore my ACL, and I was looking for ways to recover, ways to get back on the field. So I'm thankful for iCryo. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. SummitCitySports.com coming to you live from Carroll Fieldhouse. Carroll High School, this is Tim Atkinson calling your play-by-play. -play. Six minutes left in the third quarter. Penn has pulled away a little bit now up 13 points to the visiting Penn Lady Kingsman, and they've done that pretty much without their outstanding guard. And Caitlin Costner, who's been saddled with foul trouble all game long, has six points in the limited minutes. But Penn, not a lot of things have gone wrong for them. Just like that, just checked in. Is the senior Trinity Clinton, and she puts it up and in. Fordyce hounded. Goes the Parrot.
And loose ball, shut, got a piece of it, comes to Costner. Off glass, no good, rebound, four dice. Four dice, looking for help. Mark, head coach Mark Redding, unhappy, and he's going to call a timeout. He was very unhappy with how that offensive set started immediately and blows the timeout. So we'll stay right here on the 32nd here from SummitCitySports.com. Thanks for joining us again. Kelly Automotive Group is Indiana's number one automotive group with over 1,000 new vehicles and 500 pre-owned vehicles to choose from. Please visit drivekelly.com. Simple, transparent, reliable. Tom Seal Tires has been servicing the Fort Wayne area for over 40 years. They'll help you find the perfect tire for your vehicle and other auto repair services like brakes, wheel alignments, engine diagnostics, and more. Big Eye Fish has been around the Northeast Indiana area for generations. Like their Facebook pages for updated promotions. Enjoy the best fish in Fort Wayne in a family-friendly environment, the Big Eye Fish. You're invited to join ProFed Credit Union where we get to know you to better serve you. Sign up online in five minutes or stop by a branch today. Enjoy the... Join ProFed today and start owning your financial future at ProFedCU.org. Five minutes left in the third. Carroll needs a bucket. The double team came, found Parrott wide open for three. Short, no good. Rebound Smith. Smith will pull it out of the double team. Now find shut. Clinton to the cup. Can't get it. Gets her own rebound. Put back and good. Trinity Clinton. Comes off the bench here in the third quarter. Now out to 17 point lead. And she'll go to the line for a chance at that three point opportunity. Pocock will check in for Sheets. Uh, Sheets now has three fouls. That's the third on the squad. And does convert on the three point opportunity. 440 remaining in the third. Four dice. Here's Pocock. Well, this is definitely going to be a learning experience for head coach Mark Redding to get his kids ready. Teaching tool, I should say, is Kayla Gibbs drains the triple. Big three from Gibbs. She has five. And a travel. Turnover. See if Carroll can put a run together. As their JV squad who's in the stands. Trying to get them going a little bit. Castator out to Pocock, but too deep there for a shot. In the corner here to Castator. Ford Ice. And that one knocked away. Great shot, nice defensive play. And then Costner to the cup, lays it up and in. She has eight. That one's stolen. The loose ball came to Clinton, and Clinton will lay up the left-handed layup up and good. 19-point lead, their largest, three and a half left. There's Parrott on a four dice. Three ball for Taylor. That one a little bit shy. Grazed the rim and we will head out of bounds to Penn. Costner. Good look to Clinton. It puts up another bucket. Man. Trinity Clinton. Nine quick points, 20-point game. Jackson, no. Here's Clinton again. The pull-up from 10. Back rim, no good. And just lost her footing, and Parrott couldn't corral it. We'll go out of bounds to Penn. That's been the story of the afternoon. For Carroll. In this matchup against the number one club in the state. And 
down low, no good. Rebound Parrot. And they're going to get a push on Costner. Jackson will inbound baseline. 227 left in this third quarter. Kick out here to Pocock. It's a screen from Jackson. Jackson, and that's going <clears throat> Excuse me, they're going to call a blocking foul. Ten foul. Well, foul on shut. Checking in is Olivia Lowry. Number 33 for Carroll. Jackson with the corner three. Back rim no good. Cass Stater gets the rebound over Patton. Back to Gibbs, wants a second three ball of the quarter. Got it. Kayla Gibbs with another triple. Eight point game. Gibbs now with eight. Up here to Patton, back to Costner. Costner on a string, here's Clinton. Trinity Clinton. Man, where has she been at all game? She has 11 points and has played about, what, four minutes? Tremendous stuff from the junior. Tells you how deep Penn is. Man, Jackson. Floater no good. Rebound Lowry. Wide open triple from Castator. Got one. Lexi Castator hits the triple from the baseline. 115. Back to a 17 point deficit. Oh, Patton wide open. The foul by Lowry. They just have had no answers for the bigs down low. Has Carroll. That foul is on Lowry, as I mentioned, to the line. Patton to shoot two. Has 13 points. First one up and good. 18 point lead for Penn. 113 left in the third. This is game number one of our double header. We'll have the boys varsity after the conclusion of this one between Penn and Carroll as Patton hits them both. She now has 15. I have to say she's the Parkview sports medicine player of the game thus far. But still about nine minutes of game time left. Cast there. That's a tough shot. Runner. Going to the left, shot it up with the right, up and good. And then a near steal, Patton, no grabs. Now up, Smith. Smith. Off glass, Lowry with the board. 43 seconds. And a foul. Foul on Patton. That's her third. Team's fourth. Jackson in the Gibbs. Skip pass. Pocock. Three. Got it. Carroll hitting some triples now. Cuts it to 14. Costner. Man, she is so good on the dribble. Oh, whoa. That one. That would have been a highlight reel for sure. And we're going to get a jump ball. Possession arrow will give it to Carroll. Boy, that move from Costner, that's D1, no doubt. Fifteen seconds. Left in the third. Open. Pocock got one short. And try to get her own rebound, but we'll go out of bounds and we'll go to pin. There's Smith into Patton. Finds Little. Three seconds. Adams. And they're going to get a blocking foul on Lowry with 1.2 remaining in the third. That's the team's fifth. 
The second on Lowry. Put back, no good. And that will be the end of the third quarter. So it does cut into the deficit a little bit, do the Lady Chargers, but the end of third still down 14 to Penn. We'll come right back. You're watching Indiana High School Basketball from SummitCitySports.com. into the fourth quarter of game action. SummitCitySports.com. Tim Atkinson here calling your play-by-play. -play. Excited for a doubleheader matchup between Penn and Carroll. The boys will be up oh, about 20, 25 minutes after the conclusion of this game. You'll have to hit the other event on our website or YouTube or Periscope or Facebook or wherever you're watching this at on one of our many platforms. 15 seconds in, Penn. Here's Costner. Costner finds Clinton. Clinton, a little spin move into the paint. Goes glass. And is that going to be on the floor, or are we counting that? Lowry's going to get hit with the foul, blocking foul. As the officials want to talk about it, he wasn't sure you could see it right now, or as soon as he called. And they're going to say it's on the floor. Yeah, you can see the delay on him wanting to call that an and one. And it will be a foul on the floor. So Penn will inbound it. Here's Costner. 30 seconds into this fourth quarter. Smith. Three ball, top of the key. Front rim no good, Gibbs with the board. Oh, unlucky, that's been the story of the day. Clinton. Still looking. Patton gets another one. Third opportunity now for Penn. Down low, Clinton reverse, no good. Rebound Lowry, and then out of bounds it goes off of Penn. And Coach Redding wanted to foul. Not going to get one. going to go out of bounds. Uh, Sheets, Parrott, and Fordyce check in for the Lady Chargers. Here's Castator. And the whistle. Foul on Smith, team's fifth, her second. Castator needs help. Comes out, Gibbs. Castator set three from the wing, got one. 11 point game here, folks. Ball game not over yet. Castator now with eight. Skip pass, down low, Adams, knocked away by Castator to Fordyce, who finds Parrott. Six and a half left, the look ahead, wide open is Gibbs. What a look from Emily Parrott. 
to Gibbs. It's a single digit deficit for Carroll. Beautiful comeback in the process as it will be 627 left. We'll step away real quick here. Summit City Sports dot com about the place that it put us and the quarantine hit and we knew we had guys that were going to work hard at home but just the idea that we could get a lot of them together working hard at a location with people that know what they're doing uh, was really beneficial and i think you know that training did a great job for those guys to kind of get the ball rolling for them and and uh, they came back in in the end of june early july and it's like they hadn't missed a beat they're flexible they're fast and ready to lift and run and Start playing football, so it was a huge benefit for us. To gain an edge on your competition, it starts with a free one-on-one -on -one performance assessment. Call 260-266-4007. Parkview Sports Medicine. Become more. Thank you for watching Summit City Sports. To help broaden our coverage, we're asking you to become a monthly sponsor to our Patreon account. We believe in sharing positive stories and are excited to set the standard for how high school sports should be covered. Join us and donate today. Basketball is such a reactionary sport, and we talk all the time about your first three steps are the most important. Well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Thought that was a full second. It was just a 30 second timeout, so we'll have to cut that commercial break. 622 left in this ball game. Making a heck of a run right now is Carroll. Clinton double teamed, nearly threw it away. Look at the speed of Costner. I kept the dribble alive, so no travel. And we're going to have a jump ball. Possession error will give it to Carroll. So the defense right now keeping Carroll in the ball game. Down by nine, six, 12 left. Here's Sheets. That's a two. Little 17 foot jumper bucket for Sheets. Seven point lead. Here's Clinton. Oh, that's a travel. Yeah, stepped with the left, then did the right. And a heck of a run. Got a couple stops in a row, has Carroll. A bucket right here would really push the pressure onto the Lady Kingsman. And it will be Castator looking to inbound. Parrot wanted it. Here's Gibbs. Gibbs. Backed in the taller Adams. Whoa, Kayla Gibbs. A little post game. Looking like Mark Jackson. Here's Costner. Five point lead for Penn. Gibbs now has 12 coming off the bench. 5.15 remaining. Costner backs it out. Finds Clinton. Loose ball, uh oh, Costner wide open three, no. Castator with the board. They can make this a one possession game here, kids. Here's Parrott pushing the action. Parrott all the way to the cup, blocked by Adams, but a foul. Parrott's gonna go to the line to shoot two. This is when your superstars step up. Parrott pushed it there, but Gibbs, how about this? Outstanding third quarter and then into the fourth for Gibbs. Couldn't get it. So we'll stay a two-possession game no matter what. 4.56 left in the ball game. Game number one of our double header. As we will have the boys up after the conclusion of this game. Four-point game. Parrott now with five. Here's Clinton. Clinton double-teamed and got rid of it. Shut. Still loose, and last touch by Fordyce. It will stay with Penn. 450 remaining. 5450. 16 fouls apiece. Uh oh, sheets. Oh my goodness. There was nothing but air in between them two. Ooh, that's a tough one there. But it will be a one and one. So pen to the line and the bonus.
450 remaining in this fourth quarter. It will be their superstar, Caitlin Costner, to the line to shoot two. Or excuse me, for the one and one, and one front end is good. We'll get that second attempt. She now has nine. Only played about three, four minutes in that first half due to the foul trouble. That's Castator. Here's a chance for Carroll to cut into it again. Five-point deficit. Castator goes to Fordyce. Good spacing right now for Carroll. Here's Sheets. Sheets. He's a dribble one. There you go. Sheets. We'll pull it back out now. In the paint. Nice drive to Dish Gibbs. Can she stay hot? That one short. Great box out by Clinton for Penn. 420 left. The look ahead here to Costner. Down low to Adams. And the push and the and one. Grace Adams. Another chance at a three-point opportunity. Seven-point lead. She now has 12. And Adams to the line. The Jackson sisters will check in for Carroll. And Jada Patton back in. For Penn. No good. Castator thought about it. Plenty of time midway through this fourth quarter. Nevaeh Jackson, skip pass here to Fordyce. You have nothing but shooters on the floor right here for Carroll. Castator can't get that one to go. Rebound comes to Costner. Parrott needs somebody else to come trap. No one stayed with her to help her trap. And the easy press break. Oh, Parrott. Nicely done by Emily Parrott. Fordyce couldn't get it to go, but you do not see that happen very often. But she could not come back in and be the first person to touch it. But that's exactly what happened. Man, head coach Ulrich wants an explanation as she just rightly deserves. But it will be Fordyce to the line to shoot a pair on the two-shot foul. This is SummitCitySports.com. Thanks for joining us. Tim Atkinson here calling your play-by-play. -play. This was up to, what, 21 or so? And Carroll has battled back in this second half. As they're still talking about it. Well, they can't go back and change the play now. I mean, they can talk about for next time, but Fordyce right now to the line. She'll shoot two here. 57 50, 341. 18 fouls on Carroll, seven against Penn. Fordyce. And can't get the roll. Here's Fordyce again, second attempt. It's one out of two. Two possession game, Fordyce now with six. Smith's gonna inbound. Now to Clinton. Clinton. Right past Castator. And that one deflected out. It'll stay at that end with Penn. Three and a half minutes left. Six point lead for the Lady Kingsmen. Clinton will look to inbound in that corner. Kicks it. Here's Clinton. Had a heck of a third quarter. Did Clinton scored all 11 of her points. I don't think she played in that first half at all. Here's Smith. Back to Adams. Patience here from Penn. She's so good. Costner is just so good off the dribble. She now has 11. Three ball from Jackson. Got it. Huge. Novea Jackson hits the triple. She has eight. Look ahead to Patton. Patton down low to Adams. That's happened three or four times here tonight. 
Here's Fordyce. Down by seven again. Sheets had it knocked away. Clinton just ripped it away. Smith. And a timeout will be called by head coach Auric and Penn. So we'll stay right here just a 30 second variety. This is SummitCitySports.com. Follow us on Twitter at 260 Sports. At Ottenweller Contracting, we invest in our customers by providing peace of mind during the entire process from bid to build. Visit OttenwellerContracting.com. Summit Volleyball trains and builds the highest quality volleyball players in the area from, five, from ages 5 to 18. Our players are equipped with elite level skills and a foundation of life skills. Jump on board. Together we can reach the summit. Anderson Heating and Air Conditioning is dedicated to providing the best possible solution for your home or business, a system and solution that fits your unique needs. Visit AndersonCoolHeat.com. LS Teca Mexican Restaurant has been a Fort Wayne favorite since 1973. LS Teca Mexican Recipes are sure to tantalize your taste buds. Visit LSTecaRestaurant.com. 220 left in this ball game. Seven point lead for Penn. Here's Adams, a little handoff to Clinton. Clinton, double team there from Parrott. Still loose. She has a dribble, it was knocked away from her, but a foul. Last second foul. Still a one and one. Ninth team foul. Here is Clinton. Back rim no good. Door still open here for Carroll. Down seven, 205 left. Jackson, floater, and that's going to be a foul. Good take by Nevaeh Jackson, and she is fouled, and we'll go to the line to shoot two. First one up and good. Jackson's second attempt. That one no good, wide right. Six point game. Here's Smith. And over and back. Over and back on Smith. That'll go back to Carroll. Two possession game, 61-55, 150 remaining. Out wide to Jackson. Keeps it alive, does Jackson. Here's Castator. Good look to Fordyce. Blocked by Costner, but a foul. That will send Taylor Fordyce, the sophomore, to the line. Costner with her fourth. And two shots. For the sophomore, Fordyce. Converts. Loose ball. Oh, Costner took it away. Layup from Clinton. That one is no good. It'll be a foul. Missed opportunity. They had that loose ball right here in front of the bench. Uh, that's been the story of the afternoon for head coach Mark Redding and his kids. This have not gotten the bounces. Clinton. First one up and good. Second attempt. No good. Rebounded by Penn. Six point game. Here's Patton. 
Time more important than points. Up and that one is no good, but will be foul. And it will send Penn back to the line to shoot two. That one is no good, excuse me, good. Patton, offensive rebound and the putback. She is fouled, but she will head to the line. Jackson's going to check in. Patton, it's her 16th point of the contest. Patton, second attempt. Got them both. Back to a... It's a nine-point game as Parrott puts that one up and gets it, seven-point game. And out of bounds, still a chance, 57 seconds. And they'll box on this inbound play. Will Carroll. Jackson. Finds the Vea Jackson. And it goes out of bounds. I've been telling you, that's been it's just been the story. on that far side. And a jump ball, 44 seconds left. Inbound, now Smith. Timeout, I believe. It will be a timeout, full timeout. Called by Penn. Excuse me, that will be by Penn. So we'll step away real quick. SummitCitySports.com. Six seconds remaining in this ball game. Patton can't get it to go. Loose ball comes to Clinton. Had an outstanding second half. Has Clinton. Now Costner. And they're going to let this roll out. Adams with the late bucket. 
She'll finish with 17. Jackson, that one blocked, and that will do it. From Carroll for our opening game. So congratulations to the, Car to the Penn Lady Kingsmen. They do win 67-58 over Carroll. We're going to sign off right now. Your Parkview Sports Medicine player of the game is Jada Patton. This has been SummitCitySports.com. We have to do this. A bit of a hill. <laughs> His mother said, if you're coming to school, you got to bring your sister because they have to go and work in the fields. So this kid carries his one-year-old sister everywhere. A lot of those kids don't eat in the morning. A lot of those kids, the only place they